Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I thought we'd be doing something fun. So I thought I'll be showing my year in books. If you don't know what that means, um, basically almost like at the end of the year, Goodreads will send to you an email and it will say your year in books. And basically you can see all your reading statistics, where you are, how many pages you have read for the entire year and what books you have read. All that fun stuff. So I thought I would show you and all that. And honestly, I think it did pretty well. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm probably just gonna do like a voiceover, and then I will just put this guy in front of the screen so you guys can see it as well. Um, yeah. So I don't know how to extract myself so that you can only see me and know at the corner. I don't know how to do that yet. But so let's get going. So, upon my email, um, Goodreads has told me that I'm actually in the top 25%. So, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that I was there, so I am more than 25%, so that's really cool. <laughs> I didn't, so, my year of books, so as you can see, you have pages read and your books read. So, I have read 40,871 pages this year, and I have read 103 books, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? So, my shortest book was 128 pages, and that is Nothing by Black and Free by Cassandra Carr. And my longest book is 168 pages by, and that is a Bay. Of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon, so that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> and my average book length in 2023 is 396 pages. So, yeah, so these are my most shelved uh, books. So I can see you a million people have shelved The Secret History. I'm actually not surprised, so I'm actually not surprised it has like that many people who loved it. And my least shelf is Queen the Sins by James Hockley and only 44 people has been shelved. So Queen the Sins is actually a self-published author, so I would recommend checking it out. It's pretty good. But yeah. So my average rating is 2.9. I am not surprised. Um it's kind of expected. I have like ups and downs, so I'm actually not surprised that my low that's my low average rating. So my highest rated on Goodreads is a day of fall and night with four point forty two average. I'm not surprised. I think it it has been like the most hyped book this year, along with other ones. So my first review of the year was this guy, I Song Below the Water by Beckley C. Lowell. I gave it two stars, the end at fifty four percent. And then these are all the books I have read for this year, and so it's quite a lot. And I am still reading as the year is slowly coming to an end. So, I have many, many books to read, as you can see. So, um, I didn't think my TV out would ever go down. Like, there's just so many books that's just coming out. It's impossible to have your team be out of go to zero. So, um, good luck to all the people who has that kind of goal. <laughs> so, my last review of the year is Missing Clarissa by Ripley Jones, and that's 3.5 stars that it gave. It wasn't bad. I think there were some points that kind of dragged, but I didn't, didn't really like the main characters that much at all. They were really quite annoying. I think one of them was called Kim, or something like that. She was really, really annoying, so who knows. But yeah, so this is, I read 103 out of 50 books. I didn't think most of them were the audio books, keep that in mind. So it's probably half of this that, that is audio books. Um, yeah, that's my A Year in Books. Um, and I think I've done a pretty well done job of this year, so let me know what you guys have read and what is your 
and stats and books. Um, it's kind of fun to look at it just to see where you are, right, how you lay in the in your reading, and what kind of goals you can make up for next year. So it's kind of fun to just to see where you lay. But um, yeah, so please, other than that, um, please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time we post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!